Modesto's Test Kitchen at Oaxaca, home of the taco. Oaxaca home taco. Of my guys. Yes. Let's introduce ourselves. I am Mark Anzanetta, the founder. Jimmy Serrano. Very good. And, and, uh, and my son-in-law. Things are a little bit different now. We've been talking how long about hopefully getting a liquor license? Almost a year. Almost a year. And it came in under the year mark. Here we are. Thank you, State of Ohio. We appreciate the liquor license and thank you for dragging your feet. Yeah, well, well. <laughs> but we're here now. Yeah. Let's not kick them when they're down, right? <laughs> no. Okay, so now we can down. have a margarita with our tacos. You can if have you a want. margarita or a seltzer if you'd like. If you like seltzers, working on a beer license should be here hopefully by spring for the patio. All right, Jenny, tell me some of the uh, why we have so many tequilas and what kinds we've got. So. It's not really, this is just the one brand. This is actually the Casamigos. Is that uh, the George Clooney one everybody sees on TV? Is George Who's he with? Is he with somebody else famous? Uh, I can't remember who Some other movie part. star, right? Okay, go ahead. So we have the Blanco, which is, you know, your traditional straight out of the, the fermenter, uh, aged no more than a year. Uh -huh. we have, uh, a Reposado, which is going to be aged anywhere from two to 12 months. Gives uh -huh. it that nice uh, caramel color. Um, and Yeho. It's gonna be a little bit aged a little longer, anywhere from a year to three years. Then we have an extra Añejo. Okay. It's At the end. Aged a little longer than uh, three. Uh, we also have a Cristalino, which is not very, uh, not, it's not as well known, but that one's going to be, this is a oak age uh, tequila as well, but in the, at the end of the process, they actually filter it through charcoal, so it's that clear. You still get the aromas and flavor of like an oak age tequila, okay. but it's uh, clear. Then we also have a Fulvin, which is a, a mixed dough, uh, mezcal, which is, you know, a blend of the uh, Blanco and the Reposado. Awesome. Okay. And when the, what about the fancy bottles? Do we have those too? Uh, oh, the, uh, you know, these? You gotta have a little Don Julio and a little Clase as yes. well. Yes. These are the fans. Those are available? Yeah, yeah. those are available. Those oh, yeah, nice. just for a little taco shop. Oh, but neat. Uh, yeah. You never you get those really on the rocks or anything like that. And we're gonna be fit. We're actually gonna be featuring my brother Guy Fietti's tequilas, Santo Tequila, him and his partner Sammy Hagar. Uh -huh. um, just our liquor store hasn't gotten them in yet. We've been on the phone trying to get them in as quickly as we can. They will be here shortly and we'll be featuring Santo Tequila as our house tequila. Okay, let's hold off on the slushies for a second. You can make different kinds of margaritas yeah, or start, whatever. Yeah, we're start off with two. We're gonna start off with your classic Smart. margarita, okay. a golden margarita if you want. And uh -huh. we're using right now because we don't have the Santo in, we're using 1800 Reposado. Okay. And then we're using this Citronage, which is a fancy triple set. Okay. So we're using premium stuff here. We're not using bottom of the barrel, you know, right. $8 a bottle of tequila and $4 a bottle um, triple set. Okay. And we're mixing that with our house made sour mix, citrus sour mix, which is made with fresh lime, lemon, and orange juice, cane sugar, and water. Okay. And then the other one is? This is going to be one of our spicier ones. This is made with a spicy habanero tequila, uh -huh. uh, our mango mixer, and it also has the citron in it as well. But it also has that beautiful tahini rim which is like a sweet, chile, spicy, mm -hmm. tangy rim to go with that. Right. And I think they're fantastic. Can you get these frozen if you want You to. can get them frozen, you can get them on the rocks, and the great thing is you can get them to go. Okay. We just gotta put that little red band over the top so you can't really yeah. have a roadie. Go out in the parking lot, yeah. chug it down real quick. Uh, all right, so what about these? These adults, are adults. Well, this is, we this is the, the normal... frozen version of this, Yeah. but these are our adult slushies. Okay. So we take our beautiful Guarito slushies, mm -hmm. and then if you want to, you can either add tequila or you can add vodka with it and you kind of do like they do in Mexico they pour a bottle upside down into your drink right. and then you mix it as you want so it's kind of like an adult slushy here to go great for your patio great for summertime very refreshing and you know what you're getting when you get it it's not like again we only use the highest quality ingredients we don't use any bottom shelf anything right. in anything we do okay and like you said i think you alluded to it you can sit here and have a cocktail yeah we have tables now we have alcohol now and of course we have restrooms now so we have the whole package Alan. how about that <laughs> it's All three, three. So it's just you know red tape is one of those things that we have to live through and cut through uh -huh. but we're fighters here at oaxaca taco both of us all three of us mm -hmm. and um we get what we want in the end so can you get a drink at when this place opens at 11 o'clock? At 11 o'clock in the morning, you can okay. get a drink. And right. up until the time we close, happy hour to come. I believe it's gonna be three to five, Monday through Saturday afternoon. How much fun is this gonna be? It is. Be? Like, All right. You like regular, I'm gonna I go do. for spice. All right, and Cheers. Then maybe we'll switch it's off a little bit. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? We'll take our little uh, stop for now and then come back and talk about some of the food here at Oaxaca oh, that's really good. in Howland on the corner of 46 mm. and Market. Just perfect amount of spice. Mm. Good? Yep. <laughs> All right, brother. Taking one cash offer for your home doesn't have to be your only option. 
I'm Barbara Corcoran, and especially in today's current market, having a local real estate agent who offers great marketing and options that are customized to fit your needs is smart. In Youngstown, the agent I trust is Kelly Warren. Kelly can give you a guarantee to sell your home, instant offer, and the best marketing strategies in the Mahoning Valley. Get the option that's right for you. Go to kellysolda.com. Safety is our top priority at Barina's Automotive Center when we're taking care of your vehicle. We invest in the latest equipment to service the newest makes and models and keep our team's education up to date on the latest skills and techniques. At Barina's, we provide a free digital vehicle safety inspection so you can actually see what we see and understand our recommendations. Barina's Automotive Center on Robbins Avenue in Niles. Call 330-652-AUTO today and get your car back on the road safe and sound. We have such a legacy, created such a legacy here in the Valley, and we're very well respected by numerous manufacturers in the industry. Uh, we're a leader in our industry, and I, I want to continue that, we want to continue that, and we want to take it to the next level. Whatever that level may be, we're ready for it. So let yourself go to Duca, let yourself go. Becker and Pastel's Test Kitchen at the Oaxaca location in Mike, was Holland. that refreshing, that, that nice margarita? Oh, yeah. With the fresh made That's juices? Good. And I'm going to try that one when we're yeah. done with this segment. Fantastic. You know, unless you want to toast again, we could just do it again if you want to. <laughs> at I the don't end, mind. After, okay. we have, after we have a bite of these amazing tacos. The uh, February taco of the month is called? Tacos Dorado. Okay. So what we it's do is... It's a little different than the regular It's a little bit taco. different when we're offering them only two styles, chicken and beef. Okay. And the beef is our picadillo, which is more of a Middle Eastern take because there's a lot of Middle Easterns. That, that went to Mexico for whatever the reason back in the day, uh -huh. and this was one of the culture, one of the dishes they brought was picadillo. Is it's it? Got, it's got some cinnamon in it. It's got uh -huh. some cumin in it. It's got some clove. It's it got some earthy spices in it, and it's stewed with some potato and it's got some raisins in it. So it's kind of like it makes your your palate just go crazy. And what else is special about these tacos is it's got a little bit of mashed potato in the bottom. Really? And then we take that, we fold it, and we deep fry it. Now you're talking my language. It's a deep fried crispy taco. So for all those folks that wanted a crispy taco, uh -huh. they're here. We're well, just doing a more authentic style than grabbing a box at your local Giant Eagle right. and Do opening up hard shell tacos. Do, is it a ground beef or a shredded It's beef? a ground beef. Okay. But then we have the chicken tinga, okay. which is a shredded chicken that's been braised in chilies and spices, and it's just fantastic. And then we're gonna serve a dipping sauce because last week we had last year last month we had the Biera. Yeah. So that was like the French onion. Which everybody dip. went like, crazy yeah. for. Right? And they went crazy for him. So this we're gonna dip too, but we're gonna dip it in queso. Okay. So crispy fried potatoes, either chicken or beef. Then it's got a wonderful sweet and spicy jalapeno salsa, crema, pico de gallo, a little bit of cabbage, On top. cilantro, and of course you know you gotta you gotta squeeze a little lime. Yeah, so if you want a little lime, I do. We squeeze a little lime. Is I'm gonna this, go for the uh, beef. You're gonna go for the chicken. Yeah, and then we'll probably switch during the yes. next commercial break. Is this something that you've always kind of wanted to do, or did it just kind of come to you oh, like we like should it. do that? You remember our Chi Chi's days? Yeah. I started off as a fry cook at Chi Chi's, number three man, which was low man on the totem pole because I thought I was terrible and I couldn't do a good job. So one of the jobs was to take the deep fried tacos, deep fry them. And then when they came out of the fryer, scalding hot, you had to take the toothpicks out, crack them, open them, and then fill them. Mm -hmm. So this is... Is that why you were so angry back there all the time? <laughs> it was just... Because <laughs> of the, we have no more fingerprints? I had no, fin I had no fingerprints back then. <laughs> but that was the, the vision I had for these, was going back to that old Chi Chi's. But these are actually very, very authentic, very Mexican inspired, uh -huh. and they are true to what Mexico's culture is and what we try to do here at Oaxaca Taco. All right, should we give it a go? I think we should. And don't forget right. to dip, Mike. Huh? You don't have to tell me twice. So do you? would you take it whole like that and just you dunk got, you it You take in? it whole and give it a dip. Okay. And then just... You got to do the lean over almost. Oh my gosh, look what I've done. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Well, no. The texture, mm -hmm. the flavors, it's out of the park. That's good. I want to try And then this. to watch it down with a little margarita. Yeah, which I'm also going to try. So this is the one that has the beef. It's got, tell yeah. me the ingredients one more time. Mashed potatoes on the bottom. Mashed potatoes. And then our picadillo, which is our ground beef taco mix. Mm. 
And then the other one is picadillo, I mean, which is um, chicken tinga, which is a braised chicken. Okay. What do we sell? They come in threes? They come in threes with beans and rice. Mm -hmm. Here to go. And they also come with your queso dipping sauce. That's fantastic. All right. Let's do the hours here in case people want to come. It's so simple. We are open Monday through Saturday, 11 o'clock till 8 o'clock at night. Okay. It'll be 9 o'clock coming summertime, but right now just till 8 o'clock in our winter hours. I have a minute left and I want to get to this, um, to the nacho bar thing just real quick. Right. And then we'll do a separate segment at all. I mean, the Super Bowl will already be a, a pass up by the time this airs. Well, it's yeah. actually airing it's the day today. of the Super Bowl. I might ask you your Super Bowl pick at the end. I got to go local. Got to go for Niners. What about I'm the inner with the Yorks? What about the inner Swifty? <laughs> I think she's got enough money she can buy the team. She's okay. Probably. She's okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so she's anyway. okay with me. So if for any event you do, you could do like a build your own nacho. You can build bar, your right? own nacho bar. You can do a build your own taco bar. Call Mike. Call Junie. Look at our Facebook. Look at our website. It shows you what you can do there. A lot of the in ingredients are interchangeable. You pick it up. We package it for you. We we actually deconstruct it so you can build it a day later mm -hmm. or two days later if you want to. So everything comes separate and you just assemble it and we tell you how to do that. Right. And it holds up pretty well. If you holds do. up very, very well. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to hold up four days later. Right. My food's meant to be eaten soon. It really is. But I mean, and even if you wanted a taco Dorado, you could reheat these in your oven. We would just put all the, the ingredients on top on the side. And then people can yeah. add them. But these things with this crunch is just... It's pretty good. It's I a whole new thing. having the deep fried taco. I think it was on the dish called the Durango or the mm -hmm. Mazatlan. The Mazatlan? Remember the Mazatlan? I do. Oh, we had I the do. 13 dinners we oh, had yeah, to memorize. Yeah, I know. I know. It still comes back to me. The Cancun. Like Remember oh the gosh, Cancun? The Cancun. The two, the two uh, seafood, mm -hmm. seafood enchiladas. Seafood enchiladas. Mike and I are old Chi Chi's alums. I know, and I just saw a memory on my Facebook page that we did the chili con queso. We did. You're addicted Channel to Channel 21 this queso. week. I know. But you've lost a lot of weight. Are you still doing the queso? Yes. That's what I love about this diet. <laughs> All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Good job. Enjoy. Get out here. You got to try Good this. luck, Niners. In the month of February. Good luck, Niners.